A diving trip 80 miles off the coast of Sanibel Island turns into a bucket list experience for some Lee County fishermen. It's like swimming with a submarine with teeth that's so big. I mean, it's huge. It's unbelievable down there. And I mean, it dwarfs everything I've ever seen underwater. Carly Keegan talks with one of those divers who is still on an adrenaline rush from his encounter with a great white over the weekend. Dane Kelly practically grew up underwater. By now, breathing below the surface is just as easy as breathing above. You go down there, you see stuff that most people haven't ever seen before. Which brings us to the rest of the story. Saturday, his brother and friends headed out before sunrise. Oh, look at that. The group ran out of patience fishing above the surface. It was time to dive below. About 100 feet down, 80 miles off the coast, at a site he'd never dove at before, Kelly says he saw something he'd never seen. He's like going crazy because he, he realizes what it is before we do. His brother is running the camera, pointing it right at a great white shark. It's like swimming with a submarine with teeth that's so big. I mean, it's huge. It's unbelievable down there. Scientists at Moat Marine watched this video and believe it's a great white. A group called O-Search tags and follows several great white sharks, one of which pinged in the same general area last week. But researchers tell me this shark isn't the one they're tracking. There's no tag on its fins. When you're looking at a shark that big, that close, I was more concerned with the mouth area and the size of those teeth and the size of what tracking device was on it. Area experts agree. Great whites come into the Gulf. We just don't know how often. Seeing a shark in the Gulf of Mexico is a treat. Sharks are declining on a global scale. That isn't lost on Kelly and his friends who hung out underwater in disbelief before coming home with the best fish tail of their lives. On Sanibel, Charlie Keegan, NBC2. Moat Marine officials say it's rare to find a great white in the Gulf of Mexico. A research website pinpoints tag sharks. And since June of last year, three have been spotted. You can see off the coast of southwest Florida, each dot is a different shark. We've posted a link to this website on ours, NBC-2.com. Click on news links.